This crowd of Flinders Park is ready. They certainly are, and Sanchez, no respect for the Australian national anthem, he walked around. The International Boxing Federation official eliminator. The bout of 12 three-minute rounds to determine the contender for the world crown held by Jake Rodriguez, who 24 hours ago in Pennsylvania defended his championship by knocking out George Scott in the 10th round. The principals from the red corner scaling 63.1 kilograms wearing red trunks with white band and pipings hailing from Santa Domingo the Dominican Republic as an amateur had 116 victories in a 130 bout career professionally has boxed on 34 occasions for 33 victories, 23 by knockout, dispensing mega dosages of ritualistic adroitness. Sent Pedro Sanchez. And his opponent occupying the blue corner, scaling 63.2 kilograms, wearing black trunks with gold and white accessories, originally of Russia. In his third year of residency in Australia, where he is located in Sydney, New South Wales, 259 victories from 270 contests, undefeated professionally in 12 bouts, nine inside the distance, five in the first round. Leading contender for World Honours. Immaculately indulging, voluminous, treasured rarity, Kostya Zoo. Refereeing from Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, Johnny Wheeler. Ringside physicians, doctors Michael Clancy and Lou Lewis. Counting for the knockdowns, assisting timekeeper Ray Weller, Philip Steinman, the supervisor for the contest from the International Boxing Federation, Robert Wiseman. The ringside judges from New Jersey, the United States of America, Henry Eugene Grant. From Surabaya, Indonesia, Jacob Lima Hello. From Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, Norm Foster. Recorder, Spart McCarthy, Frank Quill. All right, boys. I gave you my instructions this morning. He got his, he got his, he got his pants up over above his navel now. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I want a good clean fight. You both received my instructions this morning. Do as I tell you and you'll have no problem. All right? Get back to your corners and come out for the first round. The complaint already from the uh, from the red corner. The the second for Pedro Sanchez complaining that uh, Costia's shorts were up over his navel. 
He's a mean looking customer, Pedro Sanchez. Oh, he can tank us. We're underway. Whoa, out we go. Two class fighters. One of them will be fighting for a world title next next hit. First blow of the fight. A right by Koshy's oh, hand. Oh, and that was a good one. The right hand rocked him. Oh. The first one rocked him, the second one seated him, and Costa Zoo. He's only been to Melbourne twice before, and both fights went one round. This is his third trip. He doesn't want to go past two rounds. Sanchez, an experienced fighter. Oh, great right again by Zoo. He's wobbly, Sanchez, but he's still there. The left by Costa Zoo. Talking his opponent. Sanchez. His record says he's tough. Oh, he looks dazed to me, Sanchez. The right hand was a soft knock. Well, he's wobbling. Can he see out the opening round, Sanchez? Goes to the body of Kostya Zoo. Well, if he wanted to know about the punching power of Kostya Zoo, it didn't take him long to find out. Certainly didn't. Zoo stalking a different looking opponent now. Pre fight stalking and virtually ridiculing the little Russian. Well, they said that Sanchez was the walk up fighter. He's on the back move. Kostya trying to measure him up. He's not only hurting with the right hands, Peter, the couple of left hooks he's given to him. Really stunned him. And Sanchez hit Costantine Zhu with a good left there, and Zhu walked straight through it and hit him with a right. He'd want to get out of there, Sanchez. A great start for Costa Zhu, putting Sanchez down in the first round. 25 seconds left in it. He's done well to get through it, Sanchez. He was rocked. Make no mistake about it. Don't hold there, boys. Don't hold. Break. Okay. Right. 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 Coming towards the end of the first round. And it's been all postures. Oh, terrific start. Well, Sanchez sprints to his corner. And down he was in the opening round. And the cockiness has certainly gone out of the visitor after the first round. Great round for Kostya Zoo. Here's the opening couple of seconds of the, of the fight. Now watch the right hand of Kostya Zoo. Doesn't travel far. Misses with a left. Got the right cocked and down goes Sanchez. Terrific right to the side of the forehead. He's very wary of the punching power now of Zoo Sanchez. He came out cock a hoop. The first right hand made him blink. The second one sat him down. Then after that, he was on the back move. Everyone expected Sanchez to come out, walk up. He walked up all right till he walked into Costa Zoo's right hand. And we'll see if he's got his composure for round two. He did well to get through it, and that's the experience of uh, of Sanchez. Lesser fighter wouldn't wipe have. The water, boys, wipe the water. He did enough to get through the round and actually sprinted to his corner at the end of it. But a terrific start by Kostya Zoo. He's cut him as well. Yeah, he certainly has. But coming out of now, I think it's the right eye. Kostya Zoo's hands going a million miles an hour. I don't think Sanchez can see them coming. I'm sure he can't. 
This is as impressive as I've ever seen Costa do. Tremendous performance so far. It's the right hand that's really doing the damage. Sanchez cut him a right eye down in the first round. Oh, he's in all sorts of bother. Hey, hold, hey, hold, hey. He's going to resort to anything now. Sanchez, the head's moving around and he is in deep, deep trouble. Costa has got the target now. The right eye, blood flowing freely. And he wobbles again at the knees, does Sanchez. He's puffy about the eyes too, Sanchez. And he's so frightened to leave that right hand because once he leads, he's opened up. And Zoo can hit him. Oh, up a cut and a vicious punch. Sanchez trying to weather the storm in these early rounds. I don't know whether he can. Sanchez at the moment looks as though he's in a war with water pistols against the firepower of Costa Zoo. And Zoo's got the eye of the tiger. I haven't seen him as focused. Listen to the war cry now. Zoo, Zoo, Zoo. And it's not the Taronga Park variety. His club speed has been unbelievable in these first two rounds, Zoo. And you can see he's tentative. Sanchez, he's, he's leading with the right hand and ducking his head down. He, he's just totally nonplussed. Oh, Zoo, quick left, right. That looks like a bad cut. There's plenty of blood coming out of it, and he's having trouble seeing. Pedro Sanchez has come to fight, and he's very, very gallant. But at the moment, he's being outclassed by Costa Zoo. Lightning hand speed of Zoo. Poking out the right hand now is Sanchez. Well, he's done well. He's only got another 12 seconds to go, and he'll survive round two, Sanchez. He's never been knocked out. And that's round two gone. And a battered Sanchez goes back to his corner. A punch, says the referee to the judges. Johnny Wheeler, the referee, has had a clear view of it, and the cut eye from a punch. in the corner of Sanchez but no says Johnny Wheeler I, here let's have a look at it now there it was and a right by Costa Zoo and there he is wiping the blood away clearly so Sanchez off the stool a little bit slower for the start of round three. Well, he's been down in round one and a cut eye in round two. One thing I'll say about Costa, he hasn't been silly. He hasn't rushed in a million miles an hour. Even when he put uh, Sanchez down, he's sort of trying to go in to finish him off without being silly and leaving himself open. Very professional approach by Costa Zoo. Let's see how well they've shut that down. That cut because Costa Zoo going after it again. Left and right by Zoo. Oh, oh right and right by Costa Zoo. And that hurt. He went out. And I don't blame him. Oh, Costa Zoo going after. Going after Pedro Sanchez now. And the cut has opened up again. It's a vicious cut. One more right hand from Zoo on the left hand right side up, of the right jaw. Up. And Sanchez might just about have to call it quits. It's the right hand's totally devastating. They were calling for a headbutt in the corner of uh, Sanchez, but referee Johnny Wheeler, very, very experienced, just said simply, no way. I saw it clearly. It was the right hand and picked up by our Sky Channel cameras quite clearly. Great performance so far from Costa Zoo. Oh, it's a right hand. This fellow has no mark, but Costa is treating him with absolute contempt. So he's heard Sanchez. It's the punching power of Zoo that's, that's got Sanchez worried. He's not head happy either. He went downstairs then and cut the wind from Sanchez. Now let's step 
by Kostya Zhu. Left again. Left and right combination from Zhu. And the blood absolutely pouring out of the right eye of Pedro Sanchez. the damage. He's got plenty of toughness oh, around he's Sanchez. On. He's out his feet, but he won't go down. Zhu throwing everything at him. Oh. Zhu trying to put away Pedro Sanchez. How tough Sanchez oh. is. He's going to have to stop the fight shortly. This is a hammering. The London's never been knocked out before Sanchez. whether Johnny Wheeler can let this continue. Sanchez's corner having a very close look. Can he weather this storm? This is a massacre at the moment, round three. Oh, Sanchez out on his feet. How brave is he? He's a great fighter, Sanchez, and you can see why. That was a vicious right hand. Hey. He'll oh. give me one more go and the bell will the save bell him. The bell him. Pedro Sanchez down in round one. Tadai in round two. Down in round three. And there is Kostya Zhu. A magnificent performance. This is against the number two contender in the world. Well, he was out in his feet. Let's have a look at the vicious onslaught in replay. Sanchez buckling under the onslaught of Kostya Zhu. He wobbled from the right. Look at him, he's out on his feet right now. What about his courage, Sanchez? Enormous. Left by Kostya Zhu, looking to set him up. The right, there it is. And down he goes. Two rights, almost threw himself at his opponent on that occasion. He's off the stool, Sanchez. He's coming out for another round, but he does look sick. This will be the last round. He'll have to do something here, Sanchez. He'll have to try and stem the tide. Otherwise, it's, I, I can't see the fight going past this round. I'm amazed he's still out there. He's still there because he's a championship quality. That's why he's still there. Oh, he's rocked again. I'm just having an eye on the uh, on the corner of uh, Sanchez. Well, they must, they must know he's just... I mean, they know how tough he is, but how can you come back from a battering like this? Oh, right again for Kostyzu. And he's bounced off the ropes like ringside with the wrestlers. They should stop it. He, he virtually has gone, Sanchez. Kostyzu right. against Jake Rodriguez with a TKO in round four. Unbelievable performance from Kostya right. Zhu. Sanchez didn't want to stop. What about the character of Sanchez? He still stayed on his feet right to the end. He was gone. And the referee, John Wheeler, gave him more than ample time. John Lewis absolutely elated with his charge. Oh, he was devastating tonight, Zoo. Costa Zoo learned about fighting when he fought Hector Lopez. And he found out that night that to win the world title, he'd have to go up a peg. And John Lewis has got him to go up that peg. And as Jeff Fenwick said earlier tonight, that he's trained harder, there's more road work and Kostya Zhu has stopped Sanchez, Pedro Sanchez, the number two contender, and stopped him in the fourth round and has absolutely barreled him from pillar to post. He was out in his feet, Sanchez. There's one thing you've got to give him his courage. 
He absolutely refused to, to, to lie down, and even when he was gone, he just somehow, like great, great fighters, great characters, and great, great hearts, they find a way to stay there, even though they're gone. Now we're coming to the the end of the contest. He just had no hope, Sanchez. And John Wheeler rightly stops the contest. And I think we've got Ray Conley in centre ring with the official announcement. And then we'll try and get Peter Peters to talk to Costia. Here's Ray Conley. Ladies and gentlemen, in 53 seconds of the fourth round, the winner and now the official challenger for the IBF. World Junior Welterweight Championship, Kostya Zhu. Kostya, congratulations, a tremendous performance. You love Melbourne, three fights two wins in the first round, and this one in the fourth. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very, very happy. Did you expect to win so quickly? No, I never expect anything, because for this level, any opponent can be very tough. That's why I never predict, I don't like predict. And I just come into the ring and do my best. You put him down in round one. You cut his eye in round two, you put him down in round three and finish the fight in round four. You seemed a lot calmer tonight than we've seen you in any other fight. Uh, maybe yes, but I know I can be much better. Jake the Snake Rodriguez now has to defend his title against you within 90 days. Where do you hope that fight will be? I hope here. You fought a walk-up fighter tonight, and that suited you because that's your style of fighting. Rodriguez gets on his bike a bit and uses skill a lot. Have you seen any tapes of him? Yeah, I watched a couple of fights with him when he beat uh, Charles Murray for the title. And last, he, when he fought with, I uh, don't remember the remember name, not, not Scott, I don't know, I didn't see this fight. He's a good boxer, very tough. Uh, his walker like to very active fight and, and for me it doesn't matter any fighter I'm ready to fight with anyone. The right hand was dynamite tonight. It was the punch that which brought you victory. Johnny Lewis has worked hard on that. This is a special combination for Salespo. Uh, it's what I did a long time. Thank you. And what I learned many years in Russia, I learned two years in professional career. It's what I showed tonight. Johnny Lewis, how was that performance? Um, really good, Peter. It's, 